Hello my friends and welcome to my RimBees tutorial. In this video I'm going to explain how the RimBees mod works, how you're uh, going to do that, what kind of fun there is within the mod and what you can expect from that. And uh, if you are struggling if, uh, with the mod and how it works, I'm, this video might also help you. If this kind of content is what you like, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing RimWorld and Sandbox Gaming videos every day and you'll find some more content to watch there. Also, drop a like on this video to show YouTube that you're enjoying the time and giving this tutorial a chance to be seen by more people. So let's get into that. To get started with the RimBees, there is a little bit of research necessary. I would strongly advise to start with a basic beekeeping, bee breeding and bee hybridizing technology before you do anything bigger. You can basically start with the starter tech, but you're very limited. Once you have these technologies going on, the next step will be to extract some uh, hives there. The red ones and the yellow ones, oh, there's a yellow one. Um, these are mild and temperate hives. <coughs> With these you can get your uh, bee colony uh, started. You're going to need a bee house afterwards where you're going to put in a queen and a drone and then you're building a hybridization chamber and a brood chamber next to those. If you don't add these uh, extra buildings you're only going to produce honeycombs. If you're... oh I skipped a step, I'm sorry. So you're not going to do, do any of these before you started to build a beekeeping workbench. There you'll extract from the mild hives and the temperate hives and you're going to get a queen or a drone of the respective biome and that's the first step. With those, bee, with those drones and queens uh, in your pocket you're building a bee house, that's where we got, and you're putting them in. Um, when you're mixing a mild queen and a hybrid dr uh, and a temperate drone or a temperate queen and a uh, mild drone, you're having the chance of creating a new drone. But that's only happening if you're having the, having the hybridization chamber. With this little add-on, your uh, bees will start to mix. With this add-on, they'll start to uh, multiply. And with the bee house, you're uh, basically only producing honeycombs. So if you want to uh, crossbreed the bees, you need all these three things. And apart from the bees you're getting, you're also getting these honeycombs. As you see, you can uh, extract from these combs at the centrifuge and <clears throat> the outcome of these is, uh, is dependent on the honeycomb. The uh, regular honeycombs are giving you an output of honey and beeswax. And the more specialized the combs get, like here, these uh, hybrid honeycombs offer me white beeswax and uh, white honey. I don't have any at my, in my storage right now. The blue ones give you blue beeswax and blue honey, and each of those are having uh, a wild ver a variety of effects and extras and whatnot. I also put a little graphic in the into, into a link in the description below which comes from the forum post of the creator himself, where you find an easy graphical depiction on how the breeding process works to get started with. I felt like this picture explained a lot. So once you're in there, um, you're getting uh, further. So once you have the temperate drone and the mild drone uh, queen combined, you're getting a hybrid uh, B sword. The hybrid B sword can be combined with other uh, until you hit the amalgam queen and so on and so forth. As you can imagine, um, the variety of uh, combinable bees grows and grows, and there are five tiers of bees available in the mod. It's huge. It's really huge. And because that's pretty hard to uh, keep in mind, there's also a bee research table. There you can create tier four and five bee research. Uh, Drafts. I already have uh, some research papers here and I'm going to show you how they work. So you craft them out of uh, beeswax and honey. So you're basically making the research out of, the, out of the materials you're producing yourself. And then you can read those uh, papers. And the game now gives you a depiction that you can combine a nutritious, nutritious with a adaptable bee to create a pet bee. So same goes for this. 
here you see a plastic and a alloy B uh, would result in a synth synthetic B. So here you see some uh, recipe availabilities to uh, save you some of the experimentation. Another thing to keep in mind is that these bees have all minimum and maximum temperature needs. So if you're if you want to dive into the uh, mod freely, I would advise strongly to go for a temperate biome. But you can help yourself with uh, some technologies here. After you research these, you're also having the ability of researching climatized bee houses, which uh, remove the temperature penalty or no the temperature restriction completely. Beware though they work much slower than the regular bee houses. Then you can research advanced bee houses, which uh, give you a production to the, uh, a boost to the production speed. You're getting the advanced climatization where you can uh, build advanced climatized bee houses, which remove the speed penalty. And last but not least, a advanced honey, honey centrifuge, which is finally able to bulk uh, process those comms, things you will need along the way. Last technologies are the beeswax lighting and the med brewing, and uh, well, I think these are pretty self explanatory. Um, apart from that, you're also getting uh, here a new uh, building thing here, and you're also getting beeswax floor options. I wanted to uh, emphasize those a moment here. So there are some beautiful extra colors available out of those beeswax tiles. And apart from that, it's all the same process. You put in some bees into the bee house, a queen and the drone, and next to a hybridization and a brood chamber, and then you wait what happens. You always get honeycombs out of the bee house itself, you get new bees out of the brood chamber, and if you have the right combination, you get new uh, tiers of bees out of the hybridization chamber. And that's pretty much it. Um, I've heard out of uh, un, un, uh, un, out of rumors that uh, having your bees next to fields would be good. I don't know yet. Maybe there are bee tiers uh, later on in the game which uh, interact with the fields. I haven't hit that spot yet. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that is behind the rim bees. Um, it's a very simple system once you understood it, but it has an insane depth. Um, of it and going on here. So yeah, there's a Yeah, create a growing zone around this bee house exactly matching the shape of the bee influence. Yeah, so uh, These bee houses have also growing zone influences and uh, They also have an a chance to pollinate the crops around them I think this will result in something like these hives here or some honey output. Sadly, I haven't hit that spot to try it out, but I know how it works. I just had no example so far to prove it. So feel free to drop that into the comments down below if you ha have the ability to add some information there because that's the only, the last scrap of information missing for me. I hope that video helped you to understand how the rim bees work and uh, yeah, feel free to browse some other rim world videos if you feel for it. See you guys. Bye-bye.